Hello everyone, hi, MaxStrokeCheesy87, and this is Let's Play a Prey Part 14. In the previous video, I got pretty tilted at this, uh, this spacesuit section that, um, I, honestly, I, I apologize for getting so mad. Hon honestly, the reason why, I didn't really understand why it was bothering me so much until after I ended the video. It freaking destroys my hand. Like, you have to do so much, like like spinning and turning around it actually kind of like was causing my i think i've mentioned before my right hand is just like uh it, its best days are behind it so well, while we're just losing our oxygen and talking let's pause its best days are behind it so like these spacesuit sections actually like really cause a lot of like pain when i have to like you know quickly like all this like moving and turning and all that so I think that was why I was getting extra annoyed is because I was just like, it was kind of bothering me and I didn't even really realize it because I was too focused on talking and uh, actually playing the game. Uh, we can save that for a second, but we did eventually, I did reload like as soon as I ended the rage quit the last video, I reloaded back in and killed the weaver. I did also learn that we can use mind jack to uh, deal with those cystoids. They'll like end up exploding next to each other, which is nice. So that's one way to kind of deal with us not having any ammo right now. And we're in the space shuttle. We found like a... Like the, we didn't we, we got like some sort of pop-up or something about like a quest. In regard to the space shuttle. I thought... Maybe not. Maybe we fin it. Maybe it was like an unmarked quest that we finished. Can you see? F oh yeah, show completed. Um, I don't know. There was something about a derelict shuttle. Okay, so we we did get this. Okay, so that was just like an unmarked quest that we finished. Yeah, let's. I still really don't know what I'm supposed to do with the docking thing. Because, I mean, I didn't. I don't see any. Like. Anything to mess with. There's a cystoid way over there. Um, God, the stupid steam overlay. I keep forgetting to disable that. Um. Like, I guess we're going to Dr. Igwe? Like. Dock a cargo container, but we did that. We docked his cargo container. What are you? Are you an engineer? What, what are you? You look like a Fallout. I bought. Like, are you, do you count as something? No? All right. Because when we went to the part where it says Dr. Igwe is, and it said there is no dock in, or no container docked. So I, I just don't f really understand what the game wants. And then it's just, I, I, I don't want to complain too much, even though it's kind of my thing. But like... It just it takes so long to like move around. It's just kind of boring. Like I mean, I get why they did this. It it seems like a cool idea on paper, but like I guess in practice, it's just kind of like cuz we came in here. And like here's this thing. Probably flashlight. Unless can we can we go up once we're in here? Maybe that's what we can do. Because this says no container docked. Like, I'm just so disoriented right now. I'm not really like a motion sickness person, but maybe this is also because I mean, I do feel kind of like bad when, when this is going on. It's mainly because you list like you, you kind of spin naturally like not naturally but like you're constantly spinning but like i really i don't know what they want because we've docked the container we can't even 
Like, we can't mess with this anymore. Open shipping container. Like... Help. Enter the ID number. When the docking, dock it. But, like, we did that. And, I mean, we... We've already tried to do that. It doesn't tell us what the number is anymore. Entering that number will allow me to manipulate it. But, like, I've docked a container, dude. I don't know. This is just kind of frustrating. Because, I mean, they could at least, like... I mean, I guess there's multiple containers, but... I don't see anything... Like, am I just missing something? Because there, there's nothing out there. And then, I mean, you gotta deal with the... Whoa, wait, maybe... Is this something over here? Way over... Like, I can't tell if that's just a cluster of stars, or... I think that's just stars. Like, I just... I feel like this is a very bad section. And I mean, I've been like had basically nothing but praise for the game, but like this is awful. I mean, that's the derelict shuttle, dude. Well, let's just look it up. Pray. God, if I could spell. I mean, it's not like it really matters. Docking container. Um, there's like 8,000 things just popped up. I want a video. I don't, I don't, I know how to save him. I just want to. Okay, one, two, three, three, two. Try that. Apparently that's one of the other containers. Now we got to spend 15 minutes trying to get back. Because this section's very good. And another thing is you're just so goddamn slow. Wonder, would it be faster if we repaired our thing? No. Because I see that little, like, red bar on our thrust. I thought maybe that was... The implication was that we'd be faster if we, uh... Dude, I don't really... Was it two, three... Ah! But isn't that, isn't that the one for the for his container, now that I think about it? Wait, what did it say? Three, two, three, two? Okay. This is a this is a good this is a good section of the game. Definitely. One two that's the one two three one two is when we tried already. Two three one two. Yeah yeah dock it. Didn't we do this already? Like he's already there. Dock a cargo contain. Okay, God, this freaking steam overlay. Because <laughs> I'm not, because the way it's supposed to work is the steam overlay pops up when you hit, um, shift and enter. But it doesn't work like that because reasons. It's just if you hit shift and then enter in about a 30 minute time span afterwards, it'll open the steam overlay and it's not something you can only just say freaking open dude okay that was uh, very odd I, I don't know what what was the hell was going on there
finally, we're back to I got a bad feeling. Normal fucking gameplay. The actual good part. Yay. Oh. Okay. Turret, a phantom. Like, shouldn't the turret be shooting at the thing? Like, what even hit me? And I've got no freaking ammo, dude. What do you mean, no target? What do you mean, no target? I hate that I can't see a fucking thing, dude. Where'd you go? Like, I just, I can't see anything. Where is he? No, not mine, Jack. Doctor, you, it, Morgan, up here, Officer Cool. We can't open the main door, or our friends are gonna pour through. Get up to the catwalk. We'll get you inside. Uh, get hacked. I don't know why that dude was just like kind of chilling the entire time I was getting attacked by monsters. Okay, I mean, I guess we can repair you, why not? And also, come with me, if you want to live. Well, apparently there is a... Oh god, shoot, 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 shoot the bad guy, shoot the bad guy. Shoot, shoot the, shoot the bad guy? Okay, but like, like shoot, shoot the bad guy, the the bad man, shoot him. All right. Whew. Please, oh, you don't work? Like, I really would like my brain to work. Another type of phantom? A phantom shift? What is that? Ra oh, that's this one? I mean, I like that ability. New psionic aptitude available. We have to turn the power back on. Got a... Apparently there's a monster there. Will you open the door now? You look like you need a medical operator. Yeah, I do. I need you to open this freaking door. Sir. The door? But, like, the door? Would you, would you like to open it? You said you were going to open the door, didn't you? And apparently there's an angry turret somewhere. Is the power supposed to be turned off? Like... Where's this turret? I don't can't see any dude. I gotta turn the brightness up. Like I gotta crank it up all the fucking way because I can't see a fucking thing in this game. Would that be in video? I have no clue. I mean, I assume it'd be in basic. 
Yeah, brightness. Like, fucking blast it. I did nothing. Yeah, that actually did make it, like, a lot better. I mean, you just cannot see a freaking thing normally. Okay, so I guess we want to loop around through here and maybe we can turn the power on. Can we glue that? Seems like it kind of... Yeah. I mean, that kind of kind of makes sense. That's what I expected. You can uh, jump up. It's all it gave me the climb thing, but there it goes. Weapon upgrade kit for me. I don't know, is this... I mean, I feel like this should block it. There we go. There's an engineering operator somewhere. And it made it sound like it was a good one. Like one that won't try and kick my ass. Oh, there you are. Uh, granted, I don't need an engineering operator, though. Uh, please switch weapons. Okay. Okay, you've been you've been glued up. Okay. It looks like there's stuff over there, but we have to somehow find a way to turn off the fire first. I think I accidentally hit the four key. Um Give me Psycho Shock back. Hold F to pick up multiple items, but there's nothing to multiply pick up. It's actually like so much better now that we just like crank the brightness up all the way. Like, is the power supposed to be like this? I mean, I can't go anywhere. You need leverage to force it open. I mean, there's got to be another way to get through here. Whoa. Like, I, I honestly, once again, I have no clue what they want. I don't know. I feel like the game's gotten, like, very vague all of a sudden. Like, I feel like we haven't had any real problems with uh, finding out where to go previously, but now it's just like, I have no freaking clue what they want. Like, I don't even know how to get back out of here. I guess you can try and make this jump. Locked out until I update my credentials. How about Reployer Reployer? Won't forget that anytime soon. Okay, so we got his password. Dude, I can't hear a thing. I'm trying to hail the bridge. Getting zip. Can you confirm, please? I have some system malfunctions. It's uh it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I need to park ASAP. I recommend security detail when I come in. Hearing some noise in the cabin. Shit, what is going on? I don't know what they how do I get up? Like how do I get past this? Like, I don't know how to get up to the upper level. Oh my god, stop! I feel like the game is like really kind of kind of lost it when it, I mean, can I? This shouldn't work, but we'll try it. I mean, it's the only thing I can think of doing is throwing a recycler charge at it. Whoa, wait, can we open? No, it's not a door. 
I mean, maybe this will eat the door? Probably not, but... It does say it's a leverageable... I mean, my thought process there was that if you can use leverage on it, maybe that means it's interactable and you could... Recycle it? I mean, I guess... Can we... Nope. I mean, it was the only way to get out of here. I'm like, I'm really wondering, is the power supposed to be turned off? Because no, none of, nothing says anything about turning the power back on or anything like that. It's got me wondering. Also, just go ahead and... Just go ahead and use this. Don't we have we have multiple of these brained, right? So no. We have multiple anti-rad. I don't know what rad does. I just I don't know what you from like how do I get up there? That doesn't work. Um, wait, 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 wait. Uh, come on, come on. You look like you need a medical operator. Shut up. Open the door, you fucker. He's like, oh, I don't, I don't even remember what he said. Cause that's one of the other problems is. You know, A, I was in the middle of combat when he was talking, so I'm focused on that. And B... Dude, I don't know how to get up. Like... And we can climb this. Then we can we climb this. No. This is this is probably the I mean I don't know. I'm just getting really annoyed because I don't know how to get up there because I don't have leverage, so I can't stack anything. I mean, none of the. We already tried to make this jump and it wouldn't quite let us. Oh, there we go! Finally. Jesus, that's annoying. Like why why make it that freaking difficult? Doctor Yu, again, I want to I'm about thank to you for bash the your rest. brains in. I hope you recall me. Look so Doctor Igwe. Dio Igwe. Your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but well, now might be best. Here. I'm sure you could make better use of it. You just gave me one Neuromod for all that? Microgravity upsets my equilibrium. Oh, I want to bash need to you. I steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. Oh, I can feel it turning, you know? My stomach along with it. See, even the NPCs know the... Vertigo. That stuff's garbage. Claustrophobia. Must be a Neuromod that could cure that. They're not for you. you mean they're not for me? You know if what? only I could have put out the fire. It's contained, but... I could have done more. Uh-huh, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Don't ever talk to me again, lady. Accident occurred during fuel transfers. The ball, the blast wall is held. Now the blast door is closed and the damage contained, but now we lost some crew in there. Power's been knocked out to multiple cargo sectors. Can't get the resources I need to get in there. Everyone is tied up. I don't know why I'm filling this out, except I don't know what else to do at this point. Talus is falling apart. Pretty sure we read that already. Not for you. Oh, does maybe radiation prevent you from getting the, like the well-fed thing? Because if that's all it does, that's not a big deal at all. I just I know there's got to be a medical thing around here God, somewhere. Watch those things move. It makes me sick. Like the ship. If he stayed there, he might have survived longer than any. What is it doing? Oh my God! Did it? 
I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one of those things, like it, like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh, corpse, maybe. I don't know, maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. Does it look like it? Hmm. Does Enoch look like a bitch? It'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah and you're, why are you gonna make me go in there? She got us this far. We're safe in here. For now, I'm going to check the perimeter. That's one thing that one of my only real like problems with the game right now is that I feel like it's continually giving us harder and harder shit to fight, but I don't feel all that stronger. Like I feel like I'm the exact same strength as when we got the shotgun. And we do have the psi powers. Which I guess help. I mean, that's really the only thing that I feel like has made us stronger. But I don't know. I feel like the psi powers alone aren't enough. We don't have any power. Doctor Eagway is lucky to be here or not. Might have been safer in his crate. You guys got a recycler around here? Morgan you. I'm surprised you escaped Simlab. Yes, I knew about that. I checked the shuttle logs when the rumors about you being demoted started circulating. All I found was you checked into the Simlab but never signed out. Not sure you could, but it seems you've escaped. Just like these creatures of yours. The ones your brother said couldn't get free. Wish I had better news. We're holding out here, but just barely. These standard issue PPNs might as well be kept guns for all the good they do to those things. Only way back into Talos is through Cargo Bay B, and that's locked tight for our safety. And yours. You want the code? Help us fortify things here. That means eradicator turrets, and lots of them. To do that, though, we'd need fabrication plans and a working fabricator. And both of those are out of reach at the moment. The fabrication plan is in the safe in the security office. But the hull breach puts it out of my reach. Still, I'm if you have a suit and are up for another walk, we could really use the additional firepower. Look, I don't know what you're planning, Morgan, but just remember, the only thing that matters is how you treat the people that are still alive. Um... No, incorrect, false. All that matters is me not die. I mean, that's not really true, but... Please relay the following to the security crew at the next staff meeting. Ursad sent us a very good appraisal of our positioning and our provisioning and cargo staff during last month's visit by a board of directors members. Talos' cargo, cargo staff performed admirably during the inspection. Well done, keep up the good work. Any luck with those turrets? No, I just, you just gave me the mission like eight seconds ago, lady. Chill out. Hey, listen, uh, did you order any reployers from Earth? Order any what? Reployer. It's a machine. A machine. What does it do? Well, I'm not sure. It reploys, dude. It's in the name, nerd. Wait, is this some kind of a joke? I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So I thought you would know. You obviously don't understand what I do, and I didn't order any deployer. Reployer. Ask somebody in engineering. I did. I've been asking everyone. No one ordered it or knows anything about it. Weird. Well, perhaps I can come down this evening and take a look at it. Probably us. Great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, no problem. Okay, um, so go down. I don't really know what I'm there must I'm still be a way to get some turrets online. There are there's a turret online. What more do you want? Ekaterina. It's been so long since I've seen you. Yes, it feels like years. I'll take that as a compliment. The fire kept me from reaching the power supply. He's like, oh, you're but still talking? Put out the fire, we have a chance. <laughs> It was like he was about to leave, and then she started talking, and then he's like, "Oh, oh, sorry, Morgan, my I bad." Heard you put out the fire. That was that was very brave. Thank you. I wish I'd been able to, but those creatures. Yeah. Okay. Just don't ever tell me what I can and can't eat ever again, or else um, 
That's gonna be your head. Okay, but like we were already over. Maybe we just couldn't interact with it until we. This? I don't know. Man. Let's go get burned again. Now, when she said we put out the fire, like, what did she mean by that? Because I haven't done anything of the sort. What do I do? Like, you get over here. You can jump up. Oh, please. I, I need the coil. Maybe. Okay, you're still glued up. Thank you, thank you. So I guess you're just a little bit ahead of the game. Yeah, because I tried to mess with that and it wouldn't let me. Power circuit checks out and fabricators online. You did it. We're not done with you yet. So get back here safe, alright? Okay, take that, take... Like the bad shotgun, the bad pistol, the bad wrenches, bad glow gun, the bad disruptor. Okay, now we're we're finally we have logged online. We are finally gonna get like ammo and it'll be fantastic. Yeah, he's got 13 mineral material from all that shit. Whoopee. You're offline, so we don't have to destroy you or nothing. No, is the fire still going crazy over here? Yes. And this is to take us out? I don't really want to leave. I never want to go into space again. Hurts my hand, makes you motion sickness, or motion sick and bored. Oh no, we got to try and do the stupid jumpy shit again. I don't know why he can't just open the door. There we go. It's not that hard, actually. It's just, uh, I missed it the first time. And then I was like, kind of like, can I even make this jump? Well, A, I was also like kind of incredulous at the idea that that's the way you're supposed to get in is by doing parkour instead of the guy just opening the vault door and letting you in. These Transtar PPN-8 pistols are mostly for show. They don't do much against the attackers. With the Eradicator turrets, we have a chance. Any luck with the Eradicators? Would you be a lot better than these cap guns Transtar assigned us. I'm about to bash you in the head. Like, I'm, I swear on me, Mom. Since I want to find a cutting torch, we need it into these cargo crates to see what supplies are in there. I mean... Can I throw a recycler and get it? Open. Dr. Igwe is blessed. It was fortunate you came along when you did. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it already. Uh, dude, now it's like way too bright. Now, maybe we can turn the brightness down again. Because, I mean, the screen is like... It's blinding now. So let's try like two. Okay, because, like, I could not read that at all because it was so bright. Um, stuff is unresolved. Guts, incident. Got your message about the shipment failure. I dispatched an engineering operator. Check it out. Something weird happened. In any case, the operator is able to move through it and investigate. But I feel like we've read this. This seems kind of familiar. Catastrophic incident accident report. Saw a floating orb drift over the chlorine trifluoride. Container and detonate, possibly some kind of static discharge, but all the dampeners are activated. Secondary blast went off not long ago in fuel storage, but I've sealed that tight. No one was in there. Something's going on. Nobody's calling me back. Let me know as soon as you get this. I'm going to take the rest of my people over to life support as a precaution. I don't want to beam one of you with this. I just want to freaking. I got, I got some. I got some pins up aggression that I need to uh, displace onto. NPCs that never hurt anybody. Like, it's got to be someone innocent. It can't be, uh... An enemy. 
Like, one of you is going to have to sacrifice your brain to the wrench gods. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. I just abide by them. We need to really upgrade probably our, uh, what you call it, gunsmith ability next. I, mean, I guess we got to upgrade them. And we have so many. Incapacitation rate? Sure. This could also be repaired. I don't really care about upgrading recoil. Like, I don't think I've run into a problem with recoil on this thing. You can upgrade the wrench, right? No. Pistol. Already upgraded firepower. I mean, I guess you could do math. We have no ammo for this thing. I don't really care about accuracy. We'll do one, I guess. I mean, you can come with us. I mean, I really don't want to open this door. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. That's what we're supposed to be putting turrets in here. And we, we quickly want to hack you for reasons. It, I promise we won't program them to shoot humans. Okay. Uh, gotta go. See! Okay, we actually have two seconds left. I thought we were, like, way closer to failing. I, mean, I feel like we need more than two turrets, but what do I know? We do know where that other turn is. So that's what these things are marked on our map. Uh, the game just crashed again. Ah! I think that's probably a, a good place to, to call it for this video. Um, at the start of the next video, we'll just have the turrets set up and everything. And then we'll, we'll go on a bit of a shorter video. I just, uh, this is the last video of the day anyway, so... Yeah, it's just, uh, it's unfortunate. I probably wouldn't have started this Let's Play if I'd kind of known about the graphics card issue, but it's like I'm already kind of committed where I've, like, I've recorded 10 parts. Because really, when I started, it's only a recent problem, the the GPU. Basically, what happens is that it occasionally will randomly spike up to, like, well over 100%, or, like, up to 100% efficiency, or not efficiency, but, you know, usage. Like, it'll just that random spike, and then that causes, like, the drivers to crash, and then whatever you're currently playing will mess up. It usually only happens for anything that's, like, graphically intensive. So I usually don't run into the problem that much, but unfortunately, it's rearing its head here. But I will just have to push through, and I'll have to be more selective on what I play in the meantime until I can get a new one, which will be forever. But I'm Extra Cheesy 87 Stay tuned for the next part, and bye, guys.